Okay, guys, I'm here today with Rich Byrne. Huge honor for me. Guys, Rich is the founder of Kasai Grappling, which is one of the nicest tournaments that I ever watched. I went to the one in New York City, or Rich, the, the last one, oh, I think. Oh, yeah. And uh, he's also world champion no gi on IBJJF. Which age, Rich? 61. That's amazing. Oh, that's incredible. And today he's going to show us here two techniques that are two sneaky leg locks that you can use with gi and no gi. And uh, he has one that's more focused for like beginners and another one that's more focused for advancing. And I'm very excited to learn. Let's do it, Rich. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Bernardo. Thanks. So I, I learned training no gi. And uh, what I always liked is if I was being overpowered, I could just hopefully end the match. I got to train with guys like John Danaher, Eddie Cummings. I could always end the match with some heel hook or something, but then you put on the gi and you don't have that option anymore, right? So uh, try to come up with other alternatives. So let's say we're in De La Hiva and I'm fighting Bernardo and I'm having troubles and then I maybe I kick him forward and I take an X guard, okay? I say, Bernardo says this is for lower belts because a good higher belt isn't gonna put his hips, head over his hips, uh, but it could happen. He puts his head over his hips, I trick, I trip him and it's just quick. I, 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 when I was a lower belt, I fly all over the place. I go to different academies. I went to Dana Point Jiu-Jitsu, Gracie Bob. Yep. And they put me with an older guy. He was 60 something years old. I was maybe in my fifties at the time. And I was like, this guy figured out what I'm trying to do. He's just trying to finish guys with little tricky things that they can't notice. What we did there is this, yeah, isn't, really a, this isn't really a finish, but it's a finish because I'm putting my bone in of my wrist right there at the exact moment that he hits the ground. It's all about timing. Yeah, that's what I felt like. It's here, like if I did this a thousand times in a row, it wouldn't hurt Bernardo. But when his body weight is falling, you know time, when his body weight is falling, I, yes, yeah, it's, 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 it's quick. I tried to do the first one a little easier. <laughs> no, it's quick. He's not a good guy yeah. to get on your back. We're almost like taking the momentum that I'm falling yeah. to attack. Sneaky leg locks. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, sorry. sneaky leg locks. But you're probably saying, okay, listen, let's let's get something that maybe will work yep. against a, a, a more experienced grappler. So what we might do, well, we'll just get to X again. But maybe this time when we get to X, is we'll go with the near side hook. So I'm not here now. I'm here. Yep. I'm in the near side hook. I might be grabbing here. Yep. Um, and now I'm gonna maybe kick him out, kick him forward to grab this leg. Pretty standard. Yep. Now I'm going to knock him down. Now I'm not worried. He doesn't have to put his head over his hips. He just has to lean backwards a little bit. I'm going to knock him down and I have a finish. Yep. I have a finish right here. Yep. Why is that sneaky? Well, it's not sneaky. He's probably not going to, yep. he's probably not going to tap from this, yep. but I don't want to tap this leg. I want to tap this leg. And I'm going to put my leg here just to give, put a little bait out here for him. So as he comes here, he's going to want to kick my foot off. This foot's going to come hey. up. <laughs> and That's incredible. We're going to finish him. I'm finishing him with an Aoki lock. Yep. I'm not sure if Aoki locks are legal, and I, I'm pretty sure they aren't legal in IBJJF, but the reason that people often get away with them is because they hide them. Yes, and now the referee can't say if it's... And also, if you noticed, the amount of time between you locking in the Aoki lock and this tap was so yeah, quick yeah. that maybe the ref would notice. Why does this work? Well, yeah, it both works. Both of the submissions that I was screaming as soon as you got the position. Yeah. So I didn't even have time to figure out what was going on. Yeah, and the reason it works is because when, if I'm trying it, let's say I started with an Aoki lock. Yeah. If I was on an Aoki lock, if Bernardo is on his left hip and his torso is facing me, I can do this all day long. I mean, yeah. it'll hurt, but yeah. he's not gonna tap. What I need to do is get to his foot before he turns his upper body. Oh, yeah. So I'm coming here slow motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See where I am? I didn't even fall yet, yeah. but I'm already, it creates such a higher torque yeah. on his rotation that you can see his face. Oh, Rich, can you show the drill that you know? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, so I, I mean, I invented that. I, look, I've trained with some of the greatest people in the sport and I, you know, nothing's original. I think maybe I'm the one, I can't, this is the one thing that maybe I came up with on my own. Um, but here's an Aoki lock. Yep. Then uh, Bernardo gives me a little wink there, and I come here. Then he comes here, and I come here. And you can oh, yeah. fall hey. to the side. Yeah. It depends on how strong your, your opponent's ankles are. Yeah. You know, I'm just trying to find, I might even do that just to find the angle. No, this leg comes up. I have a find it there. resistance for the regular straight foot lock, but for this one, and also the toe hold. 
Yeah. Well, this one is going the opposite direction. It comes direction. on much too and, quickly. Yeah, and much too quickly. One more. Yeah, no, that's incredible, Rich. Oh, Rich, I have a, a few questions here for you because uh, just by just curiosity, like you are the type of person who doesn't need to do jiu-jitsu events. Everybody knows how successful you are outside of jiu-jitsu. What motivates you to organize the Kasai the, and the, I heard that you even teach jiu-jitsu here and there. Oh, so. sure. What, what, yeah. What's the motivation behind that? I just love it, Bernard. You know, everybody needs an escape. I, I have a firm belief. If you do what you love doing, you'll do it really well. Oh, and yeah. you'll be a happier person. I've been a banker and an investor for 40 years, almost my entire yeah. professional life. And I really do enjoy it. It's great, yep. but, but it's not physical. It's not challenging you in some of the ways that, you know, jiu-jitsu does. And it, jiu-jitsu to me is the ultimate, you reap what you put in. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. uh, so training is a joy. And, you know, I also find sometimes that the athletes in the sport are some of the best athletes in the world. And it makes me sad sometimes when great jiu-jitsu athletes feel like they have to go to MMA. Oh, Not yeah. maybe, because, oh, yeah. some of them because they want to and because they're great. Yeah. But sometimes it's because they don't make enough money in jiu-jitsu, yeah, right? right? And uh, that's a shame because these are some of the greatest athletes in the world at what they do. Yep. And you know, there's maybe not enough of a commercial market for jiu-jitsu. So that's why we founded Kasai. Uh, that's why I try to give back to the sport, you know, anywhere I can. Yep. Uh, whether you're a blue belt beginner, or, you know, uh, or world champion at the elite adult male level, uh, try, to, try to see where I can help. I got it. No, that's already rich. And I'm seeing more and more and more like huge influencers joining Jiu Jitsu, like uh, Joe Rogan, Jocko, Tim Ferriss. Uh, I heard of Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook. What do you think? Like, it's the what's the relationship between like Jiu Jitsu and being successful in other careers? Like, on your opinion? Well, that's a good question. I, I, I think what it is is that Jiu Jitsu is just it just it crossed over a, a hump. Yep. of where it was just some back alley thing that nobody even knew what it was yep. to getting much more in the mainstream. Good. And uh, it's great because, um, you know, all of a sudden people don't look at you like you're crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, when I, you know, we go on business trips uh, yep. for years and years. Yep. And anytime I'm in a gym, whether it's in Dubai or Portland or Detroit or wherever it is, I'll always try to find a dojo and, and yep. train. You know how hard that used to be? Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. And now, you know, you just, yeah. you just, you just Google, you'll have three yeah, choices have like within, ten, like, within 10 minutes yeah, of your yeah, hotel, yeah, you know, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so the, the world has changed. It, the sport has become more recognized. I, I, I own a gym in New York. We had a kickboxing program, a CrossFit program and jujitsu. It was back yeah. when we first opened, it was maybe five people in jujitsu and all the members we did the other CrossFit things. and kickboxing. All these years later, we closed the other two things. Jiu -jitsu Everybody wants to do jujitsu. Yeah, it's impressive. addictive. Yeah. Yeah, and I think is. that has a lot to do with it. And and honestly, there's so many things that you can translate yep. from jujitsu to life. I agree. Whether it's business I life or yeah, yeah, life. yeah. I think like uh, my opinion, jujitsu teaches us a lot to deal with uncomfortable positions, right? And uh, and we jujitsu are never too comfortable. <laughs> and I think life is kind of the same. Yep. And and like I said, you 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 get out of it what you put in. Yeah, no, there's I no substitute. Yeah. You don't want to train. You want to be lazy, and well, then all the guys that you started with are going to start getting better than you. Yeah, right? yeah. No, we used to say that the mats doesn't lie. So, they don't uh, lie. Yeah. It's the ultimate, ultimate test. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, Rich man, thanks so much for how much you do for jujitsu. Thank you, Bernard. And uh, I appreciate the, the video. Thank you. Thank you. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe, and to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.